Many universities offer their undergraduate engineering majors the opportunity to participate in real-world design projects in their local communities. Unfortunately, some students have neither the resources nor the opportunities to become involved in such projects. Thus, the case-based e-learning module for solving real-world engineering problems was developed to provide all engineering students meaningful, engaging, and innovative problem-solving experiences through the Internet. The project was created through the collaborative efforts of University of Georgia's Department of Educational Psychology and Instructional Technology and the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. The goals of the project are to provide undergraduate engineering students with an online option for participating in community design projects. The website also provides students with an opportunity to learn problem-solving skills and develop multiple perspectives through an exploration of ill-defined issues with input from consultants and community members. The project offers students a case or situation to explore. The case contains four stages. Exploring the situation, constructing reality, creating solutions, and reflection. Let's start with stage one, exploring the situation. We begin by exploring the situation, food and sustainability. Successful engineers should consider diverse stakeholders' perspectives and focus on the results as well as the process of problem solving. The goal of this stage is for students to realize the limitations of their thinking and to consider engineering design as a process instead of a product. Students are able to learn those goals by undergoing two major activities in stage one, discovering the situation and exploring consultant approaches. Students begin by discovering the situation, which is presented in the video scenario. After watching the video, they are asked to develop and justify a definition of the problem, which is the first step in building a basic understanding of the situation and possible solutions. After developing and justifying their own definition, the student moves on to explore expert approaches to the problem. Here they are exposed to the consultant's multiple approaches to and interpretations of the problem. Each consultant offers the student a different perspective, reaction, and suggested approaches to the problem based on their own educational and professional background. After reading or viewing all of the consultant's interpretations, students reflect on their initial approaches while summarizing the consultant's approaches to the problem and explaining how these consultant's approaches are different from their initial ones. After thoroughly exploring the situation, defining the problem, and seeking out expert advice or interpretation, the students are ready to move on to stage two, constructing their own reality of the scenario. In this stage, students are exposed to the rich context of the problem. Seven different issues related to the food sustainability problem are provided to students to further refine their understanding of the problem. These issues include material resources, social cultural, food systems, awareness education, government, economy, and energy. Within each of these issues, students are asked to complete three major activities articulating questions, exploring reality, exploring interpretation from consultants. Using social cultural issue as an example, we see that students are provided a video clip that represents the social cultural aspect of the overall problem. After writing what they have learned from the video, the students move on to the second activity, exploring reality. At this point, they have an opportunity to think about a set of questions relevant to social cultural issues. To answer these questions, they are able to access information related to social cultural issues. After exploring the related questions and information, students refine their ideas by considering what they have learned from the related information and what other questions can be added. Finally, students have an opportunity to review and listen to how different consultants interpret the social cultural aspect of the overall problem. After completing all three major activities and being exposed to multiple information sources and perspectives, they are asked to review and finalize how they define the problem. Students should explore all seven issues in Stage 2 before moving on. After exploring and completing all seven issues, students are provided with a summary of their responses to each issue and are given the opportunity to find the problem presented in the scenario in their own words as well as present other issues which might be important in understanding the given scenario. After students finalize the definition of the problem, they move on to the next stage to offer their own solutions. Students are provided with their definition of the problem written in the last stage as well as multiple solutions and approaches from a variety of consultants. 
They use this knowledge to begin building their own solutions. In Stage 3, students will be engaged in three major activities, articulating the solution, exploring consultant solutions, and refining the solution. Students are shown their definition of the problem from the previous stage and asked to articulate their initial solution. Then students will view consultant solutions and justification for their approaches. The last activity provides students with the opportunity to compare their solutions with consultants and further revise and refine their own solutions. The final step of the process is reflection. At this point, students have explored the situation, constructed their reality, the scenario, and created solutions for the central problem. All of this occurred while defining and refining the problem, lessons learned, and solutions based on both their own perspectives and that of various consultants. However, to bring this full circle, the students must reflect on their own journey. They are asked to reflect on the process of problem solving, including the strengths and weaknesses of their solutions, changes to their approach based on information gathering, and the process's effect on their problem solving ability. The case-based e-learning module for solving real-world engineering problems was designed to be helpful for all engineering students by providing meaningful real-world resources. We are looking forward to improving students' problem-solving skills with this module.